Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you may want to Twitter the Gaming Dragon today, I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace Kaken's Path. So let's go ahead and just jump right back in, shall we? I got a special guest today. He's my sweet biggie boy. He's right here, right next to my lap, right in front of my laptop, just laying down. He will not move. He is being a silly boy and he's biting me now. <laughs> You're being a naughty child. You want to. Help me entertain these wonderful people, then you need to behave yourself, mister. You gonna give them a noise? <laughs> Apparently, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, y'all, anyway, let's go ahead and just jump right back into it, shall we? Push it back and enjoy it for the next 18 minutes. <laughs> let's jump right in. Alright, let's go. Alright. <clears throat> Not only that, his top spin shots are different somehow. The timing to returning them has gotten a lot more tricky. It's like every single shot has a wildly different amount of spin from the last. But I think I finally got the hang of it. He changes things up completely and I'm back to square one. Ka! My, my legs are feeling heavy. This set has been a lot more physically draining than the last one. There's no comparison. And he's already broken my serve. If I can't find a way to break his right this instant, then there's no hope of me winning the second set. Five to three. He really drew himself a huge lead with one. Well, I was too shocked to react. I don't get what's happening here. In the middle of all this action, I barely have time to think. I can't even come up with a strategy to get out of this. Well, not that I've ever been good with strategies to begin with. What are you doing, cat? <laughs> I'm just petting you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Cat's losing his mind. Kitty boy. What are you doing? I am just petting you. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're making all these people think you are crazy. There. I'm unable to reach a particularly strong shot as he launched an open court. The ball smashes against the fence, making it echo with the sound of metal. 40-0. Shit! Shit, fuck, damn it. I, I can barely even stand right now. How did I get so tired? He's been running me around, the bastard. I'm heaving to- I'm, I'm having to lean forward and gasp for some air to come down to my lungs. Ugh, the breathing burns so much right now. Are you alright? Hey, what are you doing? No. This cat is losing his mind. That's right. I'm gonna get you. He's re he's trying to claw my arm while I'm when I'm when I'm using the mouse. Okay. Are you all right? Hot damn! The umpire look is looking this way. Hmm. And he's looking like he's genuinely worried. I'm fine. Just just a bit winded. He nods. <laughs> I quickly get back to my position before he has a chance to before he has the chance to be chastising me for the delay. You hush! Even if he is, sympath is, even if he is sympathetic to me, the rules are the rules. It's my own fault for not handling my stamina very well. But, God, to be running on fumes by the end of the second set, all of a sudden, it, it looks like I'm in a pinch. I give a signal to you, you can, telling him that I'm ready to continue. I'm not, I'm not putting my hand anywhere near that mouse, because he's going to try and grab it. He's got some big-ass claws. I give a signal to you, Yukon, telling him that I'm ready to continue, so I'm using the, uh, if you guys hear it clicking, it's the, uh, keyboard. His face is almost like stone right now. I can't read him at all. Before I could, before I could tell every little thing he was feeling because of how expressive he was, because of how expressive his face was. Now, there's nothing. He's completely unreadable. Ah, oh, shit, he started to serve while I wasn't paying attention. I need to run the ball. Shit, I've got to reach it! That serve doesn't look like it was very powerful. It looks like he put a lot of topspin on the ball to try and catch me by surprise. Huh, no way am I letting this one go through. I managed to get to the ball just in time for... Ah! Shit! Fuck, I didn't even notice. I, was holding my, I wasn't holding my racket right. Only half my hand was gripping it, and the force of the ball ended up making it fly off. Game and second set won by Kokonosi. Game count, 6-3. Damn it, this was my fault. I got so hung up on trying to figure out what was happening that I stopped paying attention to what I was doing. Oh, gosh. You're just laying there taking it like a little sweet little boy. The sweet little boy you are. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I cannot read your mind. You are crashing my video. <laughs> He's a moody fellow sometimes. I lean back to pick up my racket. Ow! I immediately jump back, holding my thumb as the sharp pain shoots from it. You come to the umpire immediately notice my pain yelp. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm just- Ow! 
Shit, I think I hurt my finger when the rocket when the racket flew out of my hands. Nice now, little boy. You are being a difficult child. You know what we do with difficult childs? We pet them! We pet them! <laughs> oh my god, cat! What is wrong with you? Eat off of my leg! <laughs> I don't know what to do to appease you! You're crazy! You need to get up. You need to leave. <laughs> leave! There you go. Shit, I think I hurt my finger when the racket flew out of my hand. I, I, sprink, I think I sprained my thumb when the racket flew off my hand. C could you could you help me apply some taping? Of course. Of course. The fox quickly got down from his chair, picking up at the first picking up the first aid kit that was stored under it and rushing to my side as I sat down on the bench. Ouch! Damn it! This hurts. I'm no doctor, but this definitely looks like a sprain. Would you like to ask for a medical time time out on top of the set break? Yeah, if you'd be so kind. The umpire quickly applies a very very tight taping to my finger and gets uh, and gets back on his chair. We shall be taking a three minute break after this timeout due to a medical issue. I think this is the only professional this is only a professional level tournament. If this were nationals, I don't think the umpire would have even bothered to help me with the taping. Shit, my finger really feels rigid and painful. Are you all right? Yuyu kind of pops up, looking down at me with worry. He's sitting in my lap now because he's a little bitch. Oh, now he has expressions again. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just a sprain. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I put too much power into that. Hey, hey, it's all right. This isn't your fault. I wasn't paying attention to my grip. I was barely even holding onto the racket at that point. It would have probably flown out of my hand on the next swing anyway. Uh, okay. Jeez. Stop looking down at me with such worried eyes. It's hard to think of you as an opponent when you're acting so kind so kind towards me. Yes, baby boy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> gonna get you. <laughs> Even though I've already dismissed his concerns, he continues to just stand there looking at me. You can? Yeah? Shouldn't you sit down and use the break to manage your stamina? Ah, sorry. Am I making you uncomfortable by standing so close? Oh, I guess he noticed. A little bit, yeah. So, sorry, I'll get out of your hair, but um, if you need any help, you can call me. I wasn't expecting that. I guess he really is a nice guy, if a little too enthusiastic. I get the feeling I've said those same words about someone else not too long ago. Yeah, sweet boy. Yuichi? Y yeah? My attention is snapped back to my surroundings when I hear a voice calling my name. This is the third time I've called you already. Are you alright? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Is it time already? Yes. Please hurry back to the court. I don't want to have to give you a time violation. Sorry, sorry, I'll get to it. Okay, deep breath. Just try to pick up the racket. Ah! Are you alright? Shit, I guess he noticed me flinching when I picked it up, huh? I'll be fine. It's just a little tender, that's all. It'll pass. At least I hope it will. The Empire nods, still frowning with worry. God, I really hope this doesn't get in the way of me playing. We will now resume the match. Michimaya, I will take the first Michimaya will take the first serve. Alright, deep breaths. Did, did he just drop his racket? Seemed more like it was blown out of his hand. He's hurt! Yuichi-san Yuichi -san reaches down to pick up his racket, but immediately drops it again, clutching his hand. Did he hurt his wrist? Doesn't look like it. Looks more like it was his hand. Still not good. Do you think he's going to be okay? Uh, who cares? Can you believe that Michimaya just lost a set? Can't believe a player I'd never heard about before has taken a set away from him. And not at all, subtle whispers of the other people in the audience are easily heard by us. All three of the guys I'm all three of the guys I'm with have their faces crunched up in varying levels of anger and annoyance. What's the big deal about it? Isn't it normal to lose sets sometimes? You don't get it. It is a big deal in this case. But why? Aniki has never dropped a single set in the prefectural level tournaments. Not even once in the past six years. But 
Is that even possible? Shuichi would, she would, mm, she nods, his eyes stuck to Yuichi San's fi figure as he receives medical, medical aid from the referee? It's pretty difficult for sure. It helps that Saitama hasn't exactly filled to the brim with strong players. Other than Yuichi, Rishihara was the best that our prefecture had to offer. Hey! Sorry, what I meant to say is that the difference in skill is absurd. Up until now, Yuichi was considered the best tennis player to ever come from the Saitama prefecture. Up until three years ago, he was considered the best to ever come from Kanto. He was Japan's child star. There were tons of experts banking on him to be making a professional debut before he even finished high school. People expected him to make it big, as in world top 10 big. Those plans kind of took a backseat when his play started to deteriorate a few years ago. And all this stuff happened before you met him, Keisuke? Keisuke-san, how do you know about all this? Oh, um... Keisuke-san Keisuke looks away, fumbling for an answer. Yeah, Rushihara, tell us. You acted as if you barely knew any even knew anything about Yuichi when we first met you. How come you suddenly know this much? It was on the news all the time, okay? I just didn't think it was relevant to mention back then. Hmm, hmm. I see. It doesn't sound sincere at all. Can you two stop bickering and just pay attention to what's going on? The medical timeout is about to end. They're going to start playing again. Sorry. My bad. Did they really just get chastised by 12 year old? Luigi san please hang in there. Just try to ignore the pain as much as I can. If you let him bother me too much, I won't be able to concentrate on the match. Yukon has already gotten into his position. Little boy, you need to get up. You are being a nuisance now. You are being a kitty nuisance, and I can't feel my fucking leg because you are laying on it. <laughs> get up, you silly cat. I'm gonna rub your tummy if you don't. Come here, you. Come here, you. <laughs> oh, I'm just rubbing all over his back. He goes crazy. Yes. <laughs> Sweet boy. All right. All right. Yukon has already gotten into his position. For someone who was who, someone who was clearly worried not a few minutes not not a few minutes ago, his face is now maddeningly blank. Jeez. Is that... I mean, guys, let me readjust my legs. Hush! You are being a little bitch! Jeez. Oh, God, my leg is falling asleep, guys. One second, one second. God, cat, you do not want to move. Okay, there. Jeez. Is there a switch on him that he can just flip whenever he wants to get like that? And where do I get one like that? There you go. Okay, he's gone. All right, yes. Back to myself. All right. Ouch! Shit, that hurt a bit. I froze for a second after serving. I can't let myself get delayed. Fall. Ah, I guess I messed up at the last second when he, when the pain shot up and ended up missing. No worries, I'll still get one more try. But I can't be too risky with my second serve, so I'll stay away from a high power shot. Instead, I'll go with a low bounce slice that curves a little to the side. It won't have any crazy amount of spin, but this is the best I can do without being reckless. Just like in the second set, his reaction is almost instant. The moment he ascertains the direction of my shot, He's already on his way. My serve wasn't particularly fast, so he could reach it with no issues. Yukon returns with a cross. I was already returning to the center of the court, so this forces me to do a double take. Ha! Huh. Shit, this hurts! The ball flies straight into the net. 0-15. to 15. I have to be more careful with my shots. If I try to pull away from the swing because of my finger, I'll end up missing, missing my target. Alright, don't mind it. I take a few more deep breaths before serving again. This time I go with a very risky topspin shot. Since I haven't managed to score any aces with my flats and the timing of those is too, is too unpredictable, I'll sacrifice immediate scoring ability in favor of an advantage on the rally. If I can get his return to be even a little bit off, that could be the advantage I need to, to get the point. Ha! Huh. Yukon sends the ball back with a strong flat straight. But I can see it. His return was just a little shallow. If I can capitalize on this, then I should be able to score. You might be playing better than usual, but I've already recomposed myself for the most part. You're not catching me by surprise like you did in the second set. If it's a power contest, I should still win. Gah! There's no way I would miss the there's no way I would miss the moment when a stance would crumble. Strike! Fifteen all. Yes! I do a little fist pump to celebrate the point. This is good. You can come me by surprise in the second set, and the shock of it has caused me to play caused my play to worsen. But I've had time to recompose myself. Even if it's reacting faster, I can still contend. I won't let him overwhelm me, no matter how much he improves during the Wait, improve? 
Isn't that what KSK was telling you before the match? Right around the beginning of the fourth game, he started to improve a lot. Improve? As in, he focused more? No, I mean that he was literally improving. He was leveling up. If that makes it any easier for you to understand. I watched his skills grow right in the middle of the match. What? That's ridiculous. I'm telling you what I saw. Kaken, growth is something that takes a long time. It would be hours of practice before you could even notice a difference. And you're talking about the guy improving dramatically out of nowhere? You had to have been imagining things. I told you that I was... Hey, you two. What's taking you guys so long? Right. Ugh, I thought that there was no way someone could improve right in the middle of a match. But it turns out I was wrong. Can't wait for this match to be over so I can get in case case I told you so face. Well, if that's what's happening, then there isn't much I can do to counter that. If it's not a matter of strategy, then no matter how much I strategize, I can't overcome it. That's only if he ends up becoming better than me. I get the feeling that as far as skill is concerned, I'm still ahead. I'll just do my best to settle this quickly. Stalling would be counterintuitive at this point. The longer I let this match go on, the more he'll improve. In that case, if I want to settle this fast, then I want to have it, then I need to make then I have to make an extra push. Forget about the risks, just barely control the ball enough so that it goes in. I hit him with a serve filled with 120% power. The ball flies straight into the net, not even close to going over it. Oops. Fault. Because that was a bit too risky. No, this is good. This is exactly what I have to do right now. Yukin has taken a step forward. Anyone would expect their opponent to go with a lower risk approach on their second serve. In that case, safety be damned. Hit it even harder. What? He attempts to swing and return the he attempts to swing to return the ball, but his racket only comes into contact with the air. No, 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 no! You cannot go over me. That is my PS5. One second, guys. Let me let the TV out of the room. Come on, you. Come on, you. Being a nuisance. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Over here. There you go. <laughs> Runs out of the room. <laughs> He's got that waddle. He's got that waddle. Okay. Did you go in? Was that a good one? We both look at the umpire with anticipation. He looks conflicted as if he's struggling to make the call. Eventually, he opens his mouth and... Double fault. 15.30. No! Before I can control myself, I shouted out loud, with both of them turning to look at me in surprise. You have a problem with my call? No, I was just... <laughs> sorry, just reflex. Sorry. I can't even look at it, look up at him right now. My eyes are glued to my feet. I feel like a kid who just tried to defy his parents. Very well, if you'd please. Carry on with your next serve. Oh, right. I completely forgot. Sorry, I took to recompose myself. I shouldn't I shouldn't tarry too much much longer, but I always have a few seconds between serves. Right now, just try to avoid piling up more stress is the right call. Double faulting is one of the most stressful things in tennis. If I let that stress mount up, eventually I won't be able to handle it and it'll be crushed. And I'll be crushed. Before this can happen, I have to let it out of my system. Breathe in and out. In through my nose, through the air going all the way down to my lungs, and then out through the mouth. In out. Yuichi, you've already taken fifteen seconds. Take 15 more and I'll have to issue a time violation. It's alright, I'm all done. I feel better right now, at least. And even if I did get the violation, it wouldn't be too bad. I have to make sure my head is in the right place. I'm not allowed to make any more mistakes. 15.30. If I screw up here, he'll, he'll hold the break point. If he breaks my first serve of the set and gets ahead, I'm not sure I'll be able to catch up. Alright guys and gals, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can, it always helps. I want to thank my uh, want to thank my kitty sponsor, uh, Biggie. Yes, I call him Biggie. Ah, my dad used to call him Yondu, you know, from Guardians of the Galaxy. But yeah, <laughs> he's not big and blue. He's big, but he ain't blue. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.